All right, man. Y'all know how we get down every single Friday, do's and don'ts. But first, I give y'all the free giveaway, man. So today, let me know, because we seen how pissed he was that he didn't get the ball uh, that last drive. So let me know how many yards in the air receiving Devontae Smith will have. Write it down. Whoever comes the closest, y'all know y'all get the free hoodie. And if I get 50 comments, a free hat is coming with that. Devontae Smith versus the New York Jets. We don't know who the quarterback is going to be yet, and we're going to dive into that. But we do know that, that Smith is playing. So how many receiving yards I think you're going to have? Whoever comes closest, y'all already know, man. Yo, that. A G L E S. Say fly equals fly. Fly equals fly. Fly equals fly. fly. <laughs>
when every when everything is going right for you, people start shutting that everything that's going right for you down. And now you got to find a way to figure out how to do other things right. How are you going to be able to do that? And these are learning curves that a young head coach is going to have to go through. But some things are just simple. Like, I don't think that you ran the ball enough, especially in the first in the first quarter, the first drive. I don't like that you went three and out by throwing the ball twice. No, um, like eight straight passes. I didn't like that. Um, but the defense showed up. Defense showed up. But we here to talk about the Jets. I think the Jets, what you did against Daniel Jones, um, Jonathan Gannon is what I would do against whoever the quarterback is going to be. I don't know if it's, if it's Michael White. I don't know if it's, if, 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 I, I don't know who it's going to be, to tell you the truth. If it's Johnson, I don't know if it's going to be, um, um, I can't remember the dude name that we just got rid of <clears throat> for him to go there. Um, Joe Flacco. So when you look at the situation, I understand you all know the quarterback, but any none of them is is a world beater. It's, uh, especially Joe Flacco. We all know he, he is a he's a Super Bowl MVP, but that was a decade ago. So you definitely got to get pressure on on a quarterback early and often. You got to make sure that they don't get no type of rhythm. You can't let them get no type of rhythm. You got to get them, get them out of their rhythm quickly. These running backs are not, they get the job done, but they're not a threat. So you got to go up early. And once again, these quarterbacks are not going to be able to throw them to a victory if they're down how, however many points. Like if you go up 14 nothing in the first quarter, I don't think that they'll be able to dig dig themselves out of that if you are consistently still moving the ball and still putting points on the board. So to me, you, that's another do. You got to get up early and often. Another don't. The penalties are starting to come back, and I understand. I do understand the offensive line is going through some some turmoil right now, and a lot of shifts are being made. I get it. I understand it. But when you look at last week, you had it's just it's just, it's just errors. You had three drop touchdowns and a touchdown call back because of a penalty from Boston on on on, on, um, on Nate Herbert, a Boston Scott touchdown call back, and we seen the Greg Ward drop, and we also seen you know the two drops by Jalen Rader. So to me, and a don't is you can don't beat yourself. You cannot beat yourself. To me, that's right there is 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 points on the board. That should have been at least eighteen points. When you look at it, when you look at the boss, boss and Scott and the Greg, well, that's 12 points, should I say. But there went, that's, that, that's how you win the game. Making the plays, man, So and, and that's another do. You got to make the plays when they count. These players, you got to put the best players in a position to make the best plays, especially in the fourth quarter when they count. Let me know what y'all think in the comments, man. I, I Y'all already know I got the Eagles. Um, if you want to know my score prediction, you got to tune in to BBP 11-15. Um, we be going live, so be there, be where. You already know, man. Stay Philly, stay fresh, y'all. Yo, that.